Hi guys, welcome to another video. This one is how to make a bucket server. And um, so if, I'm going to hop right into it. First of all, you're going to open up Google, write craft bucket download. Now, while you're searching that, I'm going to explain it for a bit. So, yes, Minecraft servers are all right. The default Minecraft servers are all right. Nothing much. You've got the give command, you've got the TP, and that's that's it. But what, um, what bucket allows you to do is it allows you to install mods so if you write bucket plugin list um, it, it has lists and lists of amazing plugins you can use that both help but that both are um, convenient and also are just pretty much for fun like um, let's just get a random example uh, weather control you can control weather um, mother nature control the weather again you know you got all these cool you got all these cool um, um, plugins, and I'll put the link to this list in the description, and I'll also put a link to Craft Bucket Download, which um, if you write exactly like this, it'll be the first one. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come up here, and um, uh, for Windows or whatever operating system you are using, um, you're gonna download um, Craft Bucket. You can download the Windows one. I th you can download the Windows one as well, uh, even if you're on a Mac. Um, so I'm just going to open that new tab and download it. Oh, there you go. It's down there. Okay. So, before we start on anything else, we're going to make a new folder. Name it what you want. Uh, I've got one down here called Bucket. And, um, that's my, that's my current one. But, uh, because I don't want it to clash with this, I'm going to just make server. Okay. So this will, this is where we will store all our server items. Uh, i.e. the plugins, the... The server logs and the the whitelist and the bands and all that good stuff. And next, you're gonna drag the um, you're gonna drag the craft bucket snapshot dot jar what you just downloaded. You just downloaded that, and then you're gonna click on just click it once, wait a bit, and then rename it craft bucket dot jar. Okay. So once you've got that, you've that's that's the hardest bit. That honestly is the hardest bit. Then you're gonna get terminal up terminal okay and then I'm just gonna grab this um, file I use one sec um, there you go so here highlighted here is um, is some um, just make it in bold there you go in bold are the server commands so it looks hard to exp um, it looks confusing, but honestly, it's not at all. So um, let me s see if I can zoom in. How do I change the size on this? Um, uh, no, I, I have absolutely no idea. Uh, probably should have done this before. Um, bigger. Okay, so Command Plus makes it bigger. There you go. So you got Java dot XMS one o two four. So that that is one gigabyte. Um, 1024 is the amount of megabytes in a uh, gigabyte of RAM. So, if you want to start it up on um, 1 gigabyte of RAM, you use this. And I'm, this, I'm going to pro provide this in the description. And depending on how much RAM you want to use, use this source accordingly. So, if you want it 4 gigabytes of RAM, times that number by 4, replace it there, and also times that number by 4. So that's for four gigabytes. If you want two, for example, I'm gonna do twenty forty eight because that's double. That's double ten twenty four. Ten uh, twenty forty eight is double ten twenty four. So that's this is two gigabytes. This is still one gigabyte. So you want to change it twenty forty eight. So that is now two gigabytes. Um, but remember, um, uh, one o two four is one gigabyte. So use that accordingly to how much you want. So you're going to co uh, command C or control C, whatever operating system you're on, um, to copy it. And what you're going to do is um, you're going to write uh, CD. Okay, this is how to space uh, start the server. So in terminal, you're going to write CD space. And then you're going to drag your your server folder, the one that has your, your craft bucket in. You're going to just drag it into terminal. Enter. Oops enter and then paste that command you just copied 
There you go. You're just going to have all these no such file, whatever. It's a bunch of crap. Seriously, you don't need that. It's just telling you that there's no there's no ops or whatever, ops.txt, it's because making that, and you're going to get preparing spawn area, so that's going to be, that is, um, if you see that, that's a sign of success, and it's going to say done. So you're going to open up the server um, file, and you're going to have a bunch of banned IPs. Um, that if you, you can ban people from here, so say you want to ban Bob, write Bob in there, or you can d do it in-game by doing slash ban space Bob. Okay. So, um, this is your world. You can drag and drop any other world in there and use it. And you've got server properties. You've got all the uh, level name world. And leave server IP. And you can change PvP if you want. You can um, uh, keep that because I'll, I'll explain that in now. So, um, this is actually running quite long. But anyway, so that is your server made. It's just that only you can join it at the moment. So I'm just gonna oh never close it because that 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 um, can corrupt the file. So what you're gonna do is come in here and right stop. It gracefully stops the server and there'll be no problems from there on. So with this new um, thing, I'm gonna write router login. Dot net. This is for a Netgear router. If you don't know how to log into your Netgear uh, your router, because you can have Belkin, you can have all this all that. Uh, if you don't know how to log into your router, Google it. Say login Belkin router or login the name and then router. And you're going to log in. And if you haven't made a password or username, it's going to be default admin password or admin admin or password password. You Google it. Say default username and password for Belkin router or Netgear router. It's pretty um, self explanatory. So you're going to log in. And then you're going to, um, in some, just let it load up. And in some router routers, it's gonna have like gaming. Um, if yours has gaming, click on gaming and then click port forwarding. If you're on any other, um, if you're on, if yours doesn't say gaming, just click on port forwarding or try and find port for forwarding. So you're gonna click on port forwarding, and you're gonna make, uh, you're gonna add a custom service. So what you're gonna, you're gonna name it whatever you want. So I'm gonna name it test. For protocol, you're going to do TCP and UDP. It's important you do this. Starting port, uh, port has to be 25565. Because as in the server properties, dot properties file earlier on, you, you saw that server port number, 25565. Keep it as that. And now you're going to have to find, um, this is a server IP address. For some reason, it's really annoying and it changes sometimes. So if you're on a Mac, you're going to open network preferences. And if you're on a Windows, it's... You're going to go into run, I mean, you're going to go into command prompt, then do IP config. Um, but in a Mac, because Macs are 100 times better, you're just going to click, sorry, you're just going to click Wi-Fi and then um, open network preferences. Here, you're going to find your IP. And uh, there's going to be a pretty similar number over here. 192, 192, 0.168, 0.168, 0.1, point blank. You put that number... You put that number in the blank. Four. Apply. Yes, 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 whatever. You click OK. OK, so the specified port is use, is being used by a, ser a previous server, which is, my old, which is my old Minecraft server. That won't say it with you unless you're running another server, which you won't be because you're watching this video. Next, you're going to open up Minecraft, and you've got your server running. So you're going you to press C. The, we're going to do what we did before. CD space drag bucket in command V or control V paste in that code in the description enter starting up the um, starting up the world so it's pretty quick and then you're going to go into Minecraft password open in and um, for you to log into your own server you just write local host login okay if you want someone else to log into your server you're going to open up your internet browser so say, there you go see you got the server running this you are now you have now oops you have now completely made your server so um so, and successfully nevertheless and you're also going to if you want anyone else to join so i'm going to make this clear if you want to join your own server you write local host no spaces if you want to if you want someone else to join you write 
Um, what's my IP dot org? I think. What's my IP dot org? There you go. What's my IP dot org? That is what they will use to join your server. Okay. I'm not going to make that clear enough. That is what they use to join your server, and localhost is what you use to join your server. I got mixed up with this, so um, that so I'm just trying to make it clear. And also, m m loads of people are just talking this crap, saying, "Oh, um, port forwarding so hard," but I, I just showed you port forwarding. That's when I w went into router login and did two five five six five. That's how easy it is. That simple, you know. And then, so, that's pretty much it. I hope uh, this helped, because I had some trouble making my own server. And uh, I'm just going to bin this, because I don't need this. And um, if you did, if you, if this helped, subscribe. I got some, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make some more server videos. If you've got um, a question, I'm going to uh, put it in the comments, and I'll try my best to reply to them. I'm not saying I will, but I'll try my best. So, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I really hope this um, video helped. Thanks.